Hello everybody, it's Miss Kristen today with our preschool painter story time. So I have a fun activity where we're gonna use bubbles to create our own masterpieces. And I'll explain how we're gonna do that after our story. Okay, so our story is called Bubbles. <laughs> so I know I love bubbles, I hope you do too. Kangaroo loved to blow bubbles. One day, she saw some mysterious bubbles. So, she followed the bubble trail. What do you think she's gonna find? found koala. Oh. Koala's bubbles are yellow. <gasps> hello, said kangaroo. Koala didn't say hello. Koala climbed a tree instead. Oh no, is koala being shy? Hello, kangaroo called. Koala still didn't say a word. Cool. Kangaroo took a lollipop out of her pocket. Koala didn't want it. She took out a pinwheel. Koala didn't want that either. What do you think kangaroo should do? Bother, said Kangaroo, slowly walking away. Do you think Kangaroo should give up? Kangaroo sat down to think and blow some bubbles. What color are Kangaroo's bubbles? Blue. Soon, some bubbles floated by again. Oh, whose bubbles are those? They're yellow, so they're koalas. Kangaroo and koala blew friendly bubbles to each other. They blew small bubbles and big bubbles, crocodile bubbles and tiger bubbles. It was a happy bubble party. You can see all their bubbles they blew. Suddenly, the bubbles began to stick together and they grew bigger and bigger. Do you see them getting bigger? And even bigger, the bubbles had turned into a great big bubble monster. And it was heading right towards Kangaroo. Oh no, what are they gonna do? Yikes, squawked Koala. Help, squeaked Kangaroo. All of a sudden, Koala felt brave. Let's go get that bubble monster, said Koala. Oh. What are they doing? Are they poking it? bubble monster pop kangaroo and koala looked around the bubble monster was gone hello said kangaroo hello said koala kangaroo had bubble gum in her pocket oh is she gonna share 
and they blew bubbled happily ever after. So that was bubbles. So for our project, I'm gonna go over everything and show you exactly how you do it. But you all have two different colors, one yellow, one blue. And if you want more colors, all you have to do is use some bubbles and some food coloring and you'll be able to get any color you want. Um, so now we're gonna explain how you do your project. So we have our supplies and um, be very careful when you're opening them because the bubbles can spill out. Um, and I had little plastic cups. You can use any other container to, to pour them in. It just makes it a little easier to um, use them in the future. I would also recommend doing this project outside. It can get a little messy, and so we want to just keep that to mess to a minimum. So now you can um, draw a picture to add your bubbles to, or do that after, or just do a little abstract painting. Um, there's different, different bubble wands. We have the big one, the small ones, and then the straw to give you different size bubbles. So, you know, just... Just do a few different ones, see which ones you like, and be creative. Thank you so much. I had so so much fun doing this project and reading these stories. I hope you did too. Have a great day.